Well, it, it didn't change completely. They're, they're excited because they're excited about getting a ring. The thing is, you know, I, I have two seniors that experienced it four years ago, um, and they know the emotion of the time, and, and that's something you can't make up. I mean, you can't simulate it anywhere, and I think that was their biggest regret. And plus, you want to win it on the court, and we knew it was going to be a tough game, so we were a little disappointed. But at the end, you know, I, I tried to put a positive spin on everything for them, and, and at the end, they asked me if we could practice, and I said, well, practice today? And, and they said, we want to make it a fun practice. Let's just go an hour so we have one last practice. So we had a little bit of fun yesterday after school. Uh, I'll tell you, the range of emotions was all over the place. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention, we were going to go to a local college and practice, to practice with the, uh, no, no wall behind the backboards. They contacted me at 1230 to tell me we couldn't do that. They weren't going to let us on their campus. And uh, so we're going all over the place, my assistant and I, putting together the scout. We were going to go over the scout with them. Uh, we were excited about everything. Uh, we had done a lot of research. Uh, my assistant had been down there to see him play. We had a lot of film. And they were a very good team. Uh, and we, but we thought we were going to win. And, and we were excited about the practice that day to get the kids in that mindset. The kids had a great week of practice. And it was about setting their own way, breaking away from that team of the past. Um, so we were excited, and it, the disappointment to hear that it was canceled, it was just like you just dropped a bomb. The news. Uh, it was 10 minutes later I met with the team, and, and one of the things my assistant coach, Leslie Basile, uh, I was bummed when I went and talked to her. I was a little bit upset, and she said, man, you have, to got, you have got to go in there and smile and, and tell them, you know what, you just won the four-state championship here. You just won a state championship. You know, and the way we approached it was, you know what, there's 300 other teams in the state that wish they were in that game. And, and they, they aren't, and we can't control these circumstances. Um, so we tried to put a positive spin on it the whole time. We had a great hour practice afterwards, a lot of laughter, and, and a little bit sunk in. And last night it sunk in a little bit more. That first team we had that won the three state championships, I think that was a once in a lifetime team. The talent on that team, all five are playing in college that started. Uh, even some reserves are playing in college. And uh, this team didn't have that individual talent per se, you know, player to player. Uh, the one thing that they did better than any team I've had is they played as a team, they got along. Um, it really is, in all my years of coaching, probably the more, most fun team I've been around. Mm -hmm. Uh, just a lot of love there for them, and I thank them for the coaches. I think we all get along really, really well. It was a special group, and for them to make their own way, that, that was the key. You know, we, we had that goal from the beginning, that if we don't win a state championship, it's going to be a disappointing season, and we talked about it every day. And um, for them to do that and set their own way, uh, very, very special.